Welcome to Eagle Spire Gaming. I'm your host, Crown, and today is October 23rd, where we are talking about the Legions Imperialis, Formations of Legends from the Devastation of Talarn. This book has five formations of legends. We will be talking about the three that are for the Legions of Sartes. The next video will have the two for the Solar Auxiliary. And there will be a future video after the release of the Rise of the Dark Mechanicum, which will have the formations from that book. We've got a lot of models to cover, so let's get started. As always, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you like the content, subscribe. And if you've got an opinion, comment below. About a week ago, we started a poll so I could see what people liked, which formations people would want to run. Uh, I'm going to be leaving that up, but I wanted to have a little bit of data before I started this, uh, before I made this video. And the current lead is the, is our first formation that we'll be talking about. The Iron Hands Secret Killer Clave Ultor. Don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure it's a made up word. But as Iron Hands, uh, as an Iron Hands, uh, formation, this is usable only by Leg uh, by loyalists, <clears throat> um, and it starts off at uh, the way these formations of legends work is you have a your base price, and that comes with a bunch of units with specific loadouts or a bunch of detachments with specific loadouts, and then you can then purchase the upgrade, and that comes with further detachments. Um, all for one price. And if you can't take everything, if you, for whatever reason, well, I don't have enough to, to make that detachment, you just don't get it. You still pay the entire price that you were paying for either the, the base price or the upgraded price, but you can't, uh, you, you can't make it any cheaper than that. Two prices, uh, two, two, um, two loadouts, that's it. So the base price for this first formation, uh, Iron Hands, is... 450 points um, and what you are going to be getting with this is uh, three detachments um, two detachments of Psycharians at four tanks apiece uh, the only difference that you're going to have between these two is that one is going to have the uh, the twin linked accelerator autocannon and the other one is going to have the plasma array uh, both of them are going to have the last cannon sponsons and uh, as there's no difference in points for those, uh, both of them are going for those two weapons. It's just going to be 175 points for the the um, for the four tanks piece. So, so 350. <clears throat> then you have the uh, a third detachment, and this is going to be a detachment of four sabers. Uh, and for the sabers, they are going to all have neutron uh, blasters. Neutron blasters. I wrote down. <clears throat> And, uh, and one of them will be outfitted with a multi Uh And that detachment runs you 120 points. So what that would cost outside of this formation of legend, formations of legends also come with a discount. What that costs you outside of that is 470 points. So you are saving 20 points with this detachment. Fantastic. Uh, who, who doesn't love savings? Uh, none of those tanks are necessarily bad or anything. They're they're all pretty good. Uh, only one multi melta is unfortunate, but um, when you could just you know for the same price, you could give them all multi meltas. Uh, you also can't take away the multi melta if you wanted them to just have a heavy bolter for the point defense. So uh, our upgraded formation is going to run seven hundred and twenty points. It is going to add a, another detachment of Psycharians, this time again uh, a second batch of the, uh, the twin-linked accelerator autocannon, with last cannons of course. And the second detachment that we're getting from this, so this is detachment number five in total, you're going to have five detachments here, is a, another group of sabers. Four sabers with neutron blasters. And a single multi melter Exact same as the previous one. Um, and uh, so that cost is 765 points, which means you are saving 45 points, uh, from the entire formation. The Iron Hands Legion trait is to reduce all of, is going to reduce the AP by one for any of these, uh, vehicles while it has a first fire order up. 
fantastic because uh, these are all tanks. These are all um, these are all tanks outfitted with weaponry that can hurt tanks. Uh, they're not really uh, if there's any incidental um, weapons in here that are meant for infantry. It's not really what you're. It's not really what this formation is geared up to do. It's just there. It just happens to be there. So what you're wanting to use these guys against is tanks, and you'll probably want to be on first fire orders to shoot tanks first, and uh, that means that you'll have that better AP. The only issue with that, uh, with the Iron Hands Legion trait, then, is it's only while you have the token. So once you have fired your first fire, uh, once you have you have uh, activated in the uh, engagement step and you've used that token, you no longer have the token, you no longer have the bonus AP. So once you shoot, incoming fire is then going to, uh, is then going to be shooting back normally. Uh, in fact, if I don't, if I'm your opponent and I don't have anything shooting first fire, all of my shots are going to be without that reduced AP. So um, I can just play against that if I wanted to. Uh, if I was your opponent, your opponent can play against that. They can just well, I'll just focus on speed and, and keep my uh, keep my guys, my detachments using the advance orders. Secret Killer is the formation bonus. You get to reroll all hits against super heavies, knights, and titans, all uh, in the in the shoot in shooting. In close combat, you get to reroll one dice. So if you roll a six and a one, you can reroll that that one. Um, these are tanks. They they don't have high calf. You know, none of them are infant. None of these things have rend or anything. You probably don't want to be charging titans and knights with them. But if if they're in, I guess I guess you got it. So that's always nice, right? But they all have good guns, so use the guns instead. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to cost you three boxes. Uh, you're going to need three boxes to build that that uh, that basic level, um, and one of those boxes is the, the sabers come in eight uh the cicarians come in four so uh two detachments as cicarians you need two boxes uh one detachment of four sabers you're going to need half of the box but you got to buy the whole box to get half so we'll just say say three and then for the um for the upgraded for the for all five detachments you will need four boxes because you're just going to use the second half of the sabers and then you're going to need one more uh, box of four Sakarians. <clears throat> Pros. Uh, very efficient and easy to purchase. Uh, you just go buy three, four boxes, and you're set. Um, it only needs... Uh, you can, You don't have anything left over. There's nothing... There's nothing... Uh, there's nothing... No wasted purchases there. I like that. That's a pro for me. Um... Also, the formation uh, the formation has buffs to shooting uh, the big tanks and the weapons that can be used. It's got the the formation buff is to shooting big tanks, and it's got the weapons to do that. Right? Uh, it's not outfitted with a bunch of. There's not a lot of uh, light weapons. Uh, there's not. You know, it, it does its job. Um, they're not the best anti tank guns, uh, but they they can hurt tanks. <clears throat> then we get to the cons. Uh, the all of these vehicle, the Sakarians, I think, are a ten movement speed, and the Sabers are an eleven movement speed. These are all tanks with fast movement and short range. All of these guns are short range, very short range, uh, and when you're trying to shoot tanks uh, when you're trying to shoot titans it, the speed usually is how they get into position so that they can shoot but the iron hands ability the iron hands trait wants you to be in first fire to make use of it and you're not going to be able to move and get into range and shoot so i don't like that they don't it doesn't mesh very well um I like first fire when you're shooting titans because you want to kill the titan before it can shoot you back. And I like first fire when shooting tanks because tanks can do a lot of damage and I want to get rid of them fast. 
I don't like first fire when I need to get in range to shoot you. Um, maybe in later turns, uh, it'll be useful, but you might also just be dead. So, you know, they might not make it to that point. So that's not cool. Uh, I, that's, that's a, that's a con. Uh, the formation buff is also 100% dependent on what your opponent is bringing. Um, they need to be bringing super heavies. Okay. Uh, I don't know about Dark Mechanicum yet, but Solar Auxiliary has some. Space Marines don't. Kratos aren't super heavies, uh, unless that's a typo in the book. They don't have any yet, so you need to be playing against Solar Auxiliary, uh, who will have uh, the Bane Blades, Bane, uh, Bane Blades, Bane, Bane Hammers, uh, the Storm Hammers, the Storm Blades, the Shadow Blades, and the Storm Shadow. That's what this works against, which is great. They're all hard to kill. They, you know, having extra, you know, increasing my odds of hitting, that's fantastic against those. Uh, this just doesn't do anything against me shooting at regular tanks, which I know my opponent's going to have. Um, and it doesn't, and knights are not very well costed, so people don't typically bring them. They probably will once uh, Dark Mechan Rise of the Dark Mechanicum is out, once they, you know, the, those formations work differently. So maybe we'll see more there. Um, and then Titans, again, same problem. Uh, they'll probably be out. We'll probably see more of those with Dark Mechan Rise of the Dark Mechanicum. But then it, if I'm playing against Space Marines who don't have those things, this formation doesn't do anything good for me. It gives me, it gives me 45 points uh, discounted. Um, my score for this, uh, for this formation is going to be a 4 out of 5. Uh, I like it. It's, it's, uh, I, I still like how easy it is to, to get and how easy it is to put into a field. And I know I'm going to be using it. Sicarians, you know, there's your anti-aircraft, but it's just too situational. The buff is too situational for me, uh, to, to go, to go any further than that. The second formation that we have is the Iron Warriors, um, Pro, Pro Eoxis? Cryoxis? I don't know that one. Macro Assault Wing. I might have written that down wrong, and I just can't pronounce it. I'm pretty sure I wrote it down. Pro Eoxis. It looks so much easier to read when it was when I wasn't trying to say it, but now that I'm trying to say it, I realize I can't. Macro Assault Wing. Uh, this is Trader Only. And it will cost you, at a base level, 400 points. It will... You for those 400 points, you are going to get four terminators, four bases of terminators, so 20 terminators, you know, individual guys. Um, and they will be uh, they will be mounted up into two Spartans with quad las cannons and the las can the extra las cannons, all the las cannons. Um, you will then have a second detachment of four terminators mounted up into two Spartans with quad las cannons and extra las cannons on top. Um, each of those two detachments is going to cost you 214 points. That makes this detachment, outside of Formations of Legends, cost you 428 points, and that gives you savings of 28 points. The upgraded version of this costs 800 points. It has a third... Formation of four terminators mounted into two Spartans, quad las cannons, and extra las cannons on the side. Um, and it also comes with three Kratos in a single detachment, and they will be armed with the battle cannon, las cannon, and las cannon. Uh, and, and that's the thing about these uh, formations of legends, you don't get to pick any weapons on it. They already come with it, so if you wanted those Kratos to have the, uh, the Melta, it's it's the battle cannon. You get in the battle cannon, um, and that three of those cost two hundred ten points. So your total points with all four detachments would be eight fifty two. You are getting fifty two points in savings. The Iron Warrior bonus is a bonus to your uh, objective secure your your uh, your ability to control the objective. Um, I think it's two points if you're in your deployment, if the objective is in your deployment zone, and one point if it's 
anywhere else. Um, that's nice to have. Uh, it's fantastic to have, actually. It always works. It's, it, it's always good. It only matters if your opponent is still alive on the objective with you. Um, but that happens. That happens a lot. Uh, and it makes it a lot, you, you only have to shoot off so many of the, of the guy's stuff so that you can, you can take the objective and then, uh, it's sticky objectives. So if everything dies after that, you want it. <clears throat> and the formation special rules are hammer blow assault. That comes with plus two to your, uh, CAF when in a turn in which your Terminator is disembarked. It's only for the Terminators. It doesn't affect the Kratos, and it definitely doesn't affect the Spartans. It's just the Terminators getting out of Spartans on the turn that they got out. Um, Spartans have assault. Uh, Spartans are assault transports, so you can charge out of them. Fantastic. Uh, otherwise, this whole thing falls apart. Um, and uh, Terminators, they've got a good gun. They've got a they've got a better gun than tactical marines. They've got they've got certainly a better gun than anything on the solar auxiliary infantry, uh, but um, you're they'll kill things in melee a lot more consistently. You know you, you still miss you still miss when you shoot. Uh, you have to you have to hit and then they have to not save, um, and then you can only it's a light weapon. You can only kill infantry with them. But when you charge out of when you when you charge with them, you know they are better in hand hand than tanks, which are expensive. Uh, they're definitely better in hand hand than um, transports or uh, a lot of infantry. Not the best infantry. Uh, they're not they're not better than Ogren or uh, Velatari who have rent, uh, but they're better than most tanks, artillery, and that gets you, you know, you, you put more board coming out of a vehicle, you put more board in your way, uh, you take over more territory that way, um, and, uh, there's, so, so it's better, charging is better than shooting, so hammer blow assault, you know, that, that's really good for your terminators. Um, to buy all of this, you will need four infantry boxes of Terminators. Unless you're doing something where you're putting, uh, and that's for the basic level, unless you're doing something where you're putting um, less Terminators on each base, uh, maybe you're putting only four or maybe even three people to a base, that's going to save you uh, models and, and stretch out your bases. Um, I haven't made my Terminators yet, so I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But I might, I might stick with five just because I kind of like the the clump of it. I don't know. It does look a little distracted though, so it's a tough choice. Um, but let's say it's four infantry, four infantry, and and then a uh, a single box of Spartans uh, for the for the for the base level. Um, and then you've got a whole bunch of infantry that you're not doing, that, that are not a part of this. You can use them for, there's other stuff you'll use them for. You'll have missile launchers in there, especially with Iron Warriors, any of those would go well. So um, I'm sure they won't be, I'm sure you're not going to miss out on too much of them. Uh, it is a lot of contemptors though. Uh, what would that be? 16 contemptors? Contemptor dreadnoughts? Um, the total package for this, uh, you know, the upgraded version of this is going to be six infantry bases. Again, assuming you're not doing something else. Um, and then one and a half Spartans. So uh, you'll have two extra Spartans that you can put somewhere else, do something else with. Um, everyone loves Spartans, so <clears throat> I'm sure it'll be fine. And then you'll also need 75% of a Kratos box. Kratos comes with four. You're only going to be using three. Three's the better number anyway. Um, if they had to squeeze in the fourth Kratos... Uh, it's just better for morale and breakpoints. Um, if they had to squeeze in the fourth Kratos, you know, you'd probably save a few more points, but then it costs more to just to get the formation. So it's it's fine. It's good with just the three. Pros for this. Uh, it is thematic. It is super cool looking. Uh, I love all of these units. I love the idea of just moving this thing forward. Um, and it's, uh, it saves a good number of points too. 52 points saved, uh, pretty good. 
uh iron iron warriors have a really cool paint scheme if i wasn't a successor of dorn i'd be i might have been strongly contented to just run all of them um and then it, the trait works well as i was saying it works well with terminators and against any um this will work against any opponent. You don't need your opponent to be bringing specific things for this to matter. It's just a buff to your Terminators. Um, if your opponent does bring, doesn't bring bring anything that's good for your Terminators to charge, at least you've got the bolt gun, uh, the, uh, the combi bolters, which will, you know, so anything that's really good in melee, any infantry that's really good in melee, you got combi bolters to, to take them out with. Um, and if it is a vehicle that's good in melee, uh, you've got weight of numbers. Because vehicles are always going to cost more than, than uh, four Terminators. Um, the cons. It's quite expensive for the boxes. Uh, you know, you need, you need uh, eight boxes to... Eight, nine boxes, really, to, uh, to run the whole thing. Uh, so that's a bit of a downer. Um... And then there's nothing benefiting the Spartans or the Kratos. And those cost the bulk of your points in this. You're spending the 16 term, uh, 12 Terminators. 12 Terminators cost 50 points, uh, 150 points um, uh, when, when purchased this way. They can be even cheaper if you tack them onto uh, taxables. They are the small portion, they, you know, they make up the bulk of your models in this, but they make up nothing for the bulk of your points. Uh, your Kratos gets nothing out of this, and your Spartans get nothing out of this, except that they are transporting the other guys. So I kind of don't like that. That's a bit unfortunate and, uh, and disappointing, I guess. I don't know. Uh... But I think that the extra plus two to the Terminator's calf will will help them survive and do, be a bit more and be quite a bit more killy in close combat with the right opponents, with the right targets. <clears throat> My score for this uh, formation is going to have to be four out of five. It's just too expensive. There's too much. Too many of your points are not being buffed from this. Now we have our third and final formation: the Alpha Legion. Hero Group Arcadius. This formation is usable by both Loyalists and Traders because Alpha Legion were playing both sides during the Horus Heresy. Who knew? This one is the most expensive one. It starts off at 630 points. Uh, and what you get for that 630 is four Sicarian Punishers with uh, the side weapons are all uh, heavy bolters. Another detachment of four Sicarian Punishers with the heavy bolters. Uh, each of those is 210 points. And then you have eight Plasma Gun Support Marines embarked in four Land Raiders. One of them has a multi Uh That's 230 points. Totals up to six hundred and fifty. You save two hundred. You save twenty points uh, purchasing them as this group, and that might be if I were to if I were to run this formation, that might be where I would stop. The upgraded version is nine hundred and thirty points. That is just shy of one third of your entire army, and that's why I would stop at the at the six thirty. Uh, it comes with four sabers with the auto cannon and heavy bolters. Our previous sabers in the Iron Hands formation did not have the auto cannon. It had the neutron blaster uh, meant for for tanks and void shield, uh, taking out extra void shields and then shocking tanks. Whereas the auto cannon is um, light AT, more meant for uh, for taking out infantry. Uh, well, better at taking out infantry, but. Yeah, uh, and the heavy bolter is 120 points, uh, as the same same cost as the previous ones. And then another unit of eight plasma gun support marines embarked in four land raiders, one multi melta. It's 230. It's yeah, 230 points though. That total is 1,000 points. You are saving 70 points. It's the biggest savings, 
as the cost goes up, the savings go up as well. Um, this is Alpha Legion. Their Legion trait is to infiltrate. Uh, they can give. Um, if you take a, depending on how you take it, they either get three detachments can can infiltrate, or have uh, forward deployment, or have one of the things to do with outflank, um, and then either three three detachments or one detachment, depending on how you're taking them, and then obfuscation protocols is the formation ability. It gives every detachment in the formation outflank and scout. Scout is going to improve your cover save by one, and outflank is to a maximum of two. So any of your detachments that have cover are going to have a slightly better cover save. And then it gives each of them outflank. So what you end up doing is you can take this entire one third of your army hold it in reserves till turn two, and then bring it in wherever you want on the side of the table edge. Uh, these are quick vehicles, so uh, quick vehicles, and then infantry getting out of the vehicles with ranged weapons. So uh, they'll be able to jump to wherever they wanna go, and they can do a lot of damage. Pretty much all of these guns are, it, pretty much all of these guns are light AT, and then the multi melta the land raiders uh, have some anti tank weapons, um, but they've got it all backed up with a whole bunch of with a lot of plasma guns, and you can get really close. So I'm sure you'll be fine for taking out infantry, and you'll even have quite a, a decent punch against vehicles. Um, you won't be doing anything to titans, but as I said earlier, titans. Well, titans might be more more common on the table. Uh, but they're they're expensive for what they do. They don't have a lot of survivability anyway. So something else have something else take out the the void shields and then and then these can can finish it off. Pros and cons. Well, first, how much to to get it? You're going to need two and two thirds boxes of tanks because you're going to need two boxes of Sicarians, and then you will only use four out of these six Land Raider Proteuses. Um, and then you'll need four boxes of infantry, and you're only using the plasma gunners from that infantry. For the fully upgraded package, you're going to need uh, three boxes. It's uh, three full boxes of tanks. It's the Sicarian Punisher times two. Uh, you'll need a, an entire Land Raider Proteus box. It's six in there. And then you'll need one third of another uh, Land Raider box, and you'll need half of a Saber box and then you'll need eight boxes of the infantry. Unless you do something weird, you know, I guess if you print them or you trade them from a friend, I'm, there's people that don't want the plasma gunners, so I'm sure you could trade them or just buy them off of them for cheap. I think somebody in one of the discords just sent a whole bunch to somebody else. I don't remember if it was for this or not, but you know, there's always that as an option. Um, I mean, eight boxes, you might have that laying around. If you built all the Terminators for the for the Iron Warriors uh, formation, then maybe you've got, maybe you only need two more boxes for the infantry. Um, so, pros and cons. It's Alpha Legion, so nobody's really going to bat an eye if you've got them painted as any other chapter. Uh, Legion, you just say that they're Alpha Legion pretending to be Imperial Fist. Um... Finally, a use for plasma gunners, right? We all wanted one of those. Uh, who who would have known it would have needed all of them and then some? Uh, there's if you take the full thousand point package, well, nine hundred and thirty point uh, formation, you're gonna have sixteen plasma gunners. That's uh, five dudes a base, so um, uh, eighty. And then we get to the cons. Uh, that's really it for the pros. I, I guess as I was saying earlier. All the weapons are light AT, so you can hurt anything. Um, you just won't hurt it very well. You'll drown them out in firepower, I guess. Uh, you, you'll, you know, death by a thousand cuts. Something's bound to fail its armor save. But then we come to the the cons, and this is one third of your entire for army. This formation is one third of your entire three thousand point army, assuming you're playing a three thousand point game. Um, and the bonus that it has is that it can, it can outflank. 
and it's scout. Scout's probably the best part of all of this because you can actually make use of that. If you're outflanking the entire one third of your army, you're not getting to use them until turn two. It seems like the game is usually decided by turn two. Bottom of turn two, you know. Do you even get to turn three? That's a pretty bad, pretty pretty bad drawback. And then and then of course it just needs so many boxes, and and most of it's not making it to the table. And you're probably not getting a lot of stuff to the table. The best way I thought of to run this is you build this right, make it however you want, paint them however you want, loyalist or trader, right? And what you do is you go to the store and when someone shows up and they say, hey, I have my force, I have this 2000 point list, but somebody else says, oh man, I really wanted to play my 3000 point list. Or maybe somebody, or maybe somebody's got a 3000 point list, but somebody else wants to play a 4000 point list. You say, hey, I've got a thousand points. Let me hop in. You can even get, you know, here, paint up something extra, you know, get, get an extra 70 points to give the, to give the, to have, but have them add to a formation or something. You, you just jump in. Hey, what, what side are you playing for? Traders? That's fine. Loyalist? Okay, I can run with that. Just play for whoever. And while they set up and play the first turn, um, you go and, you know, go get something to eat and then come back, uh, come back once they're at turn two and then just outflank onto the side of the table and uh, start shooting at anything. Maybe you shoot at your allies too. Who cares? Right? But, um, yeah, so that, I'm going to give it a three out of five. Uh, originally, I wanted to give it a one. I was going to give the other two threes. Uh, nothing was really perfect, but I thought maybe I was being a little bit too harsh. So, uh, I decided three is, a score of a three is I like it. I wish I could use it. I'm not going to try to, I'm not really going to pursue it too much. A four, I'm really tempted to getting it and, um, I'm really tempted to getting it and, and, and putting it on the table. Uh, a five is I've got to have it. Um, a one will be it's utter garbage and I would never recommend it. I mean, I kind of recommended this in a way and um, I just wouldn't do it myself. But I will not stop you from having fun. It, I, you know, I'll flank and scout. Uh, scout scout's pretty fun. It just doesn't, they don't match up. It doesn't really get to make the most. It's giving you outflank and you already had the ability to get outflank on your guys anyway. So uh, on your on your vehicles anyway, it was just limited to three detachments per formation. So, but yeah, that's my take. Um, uh, so that's the that's the Space Marine formations uh, of Legend from the Devastation to Larn. Uh, stick around uh, later this week. I will post up the Solar Auxiliary ones. It'll be a much shorter video. There's only two of them. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this. If I got anything wrong, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm missing something here. Let me know. I will gladly change my score if these are, uh, or if you've got a better uh, method for grading it. Let me know. I I'm willing to change. I'm willing to be taught how these how these should be used uh, if I'm wrong. But I don't know. I kind of don't think I was wrong. But yeah. Until next time. This has been Eagle Spire Gaming. Thank you for flying by.